I just wanted to share with you, I'm going on a mini vacation. Um, I just wanted to share with you some packing tips that I've learned because right now, as you'll see in a minute, um, the suitcase situation is very hard to get things into. Here, take a look. As you can see right now, I have my suitcase with like barely anything in it, but yeah, it's, um, it has a lot of stuff in it and I still have all of my clothes to put in. So how am I going to do that? Well, watch and learn. All right. So I am actually using my suitcase to hold my phone up. So sorry for that. Um, my suitcase is a small, like travel size one. Like I could take it on an airplane if I needed to. But we are driving, so don't need to worry about that or airplane regulations or anything like that. So anyway, I put all of my like necessities, like my hairbrush, my toothbrush, my shampoo, my conditioner, this thingy um, for doing stretches or exercise. Ugh. See, you do two of them. But anyway, all of that I have in my zipper section, so it's easy to access. And then everything else is where the issues occur. So, my deodorant can go on the bottom of my clothes. And, like, same with my curling iron. I will show you as I take it out. Um, so, we are going to do this. This way. So, first off, we're talking about me. So, I got one of these mini first aid kits from, well, from Walmart. But they're also available at the Dollar Tree. And places like that. Um, Walmart 97 cents, Dollar Tree, obviously a dollar. Definitely taking this with me because we're talking about me. And I haven't gone to the gym for a week because I injured myself falling on cement. Like, literally just walking and tripping on that. So there's that. My curling iron. You can't really see what I'm doing. Um, But I'll, don't worry, I'll show you a finished thing. I am just taking, I have like the cord wrapped all around it the heat part over it like over this part where it's heated and i'm just taking it straight down like this on top of some a couple things that i already have in there and it's fine like that and then my i use spray deodorant so deodorant on the side here kind of by like where i have my underwear and stuff and then all of this i honestly probably won't need half of it but you never know so it's always good to be prepared so I put all of that in first right and then I start packing my essential things that I need so let me start here with my swimsuit I haven't gone swimming for a while last time I was gonna go swimming I fell and hurt myself and haven't been able to go since but there's a pool at the hotel so yay hopefully I can swim then but anyway, so I'm bringing two swimsuits with me, a two-piece. I don't know if either of them will fit, but I'm hoping. And I'm just going to roll it up really small. All right, so roll that piece there. And my shorts, I fold them. I fold them again. And then guess what? We roll them. Oh, I'm short. Woo! All right, and then just find a place to squeeze them in a little bit. And then, by the way, I just bought this swimsuit yesterday. Woo! Guess how much it was, by the way? $3 at Walmart. Super happy about that. Anyway, hoping this will fit because I really like the one-piece look. It's like a green fabric, and it looks super cool. So, anyway, hoping that fits. And so, fold it, like... Did you see what I did? So I'm folding it in half this way, lengthwise, I guess. And then uh, in half hot dog style, hamburger style, I don't remember. And then rolling it. And then finding a place for it to go. And rolled up like this. Of course, my cute pajamas. I, we're only staying two nights, so all I'm bringing is a t-shirt and a pair of shorts and no i really do not care that they don't match and just holding them together like this and they can go in sideways like that and then we have a couple pairs of shorts that are gonna fit by the way i had to go buy new shorts so these are brand new 
just folding them in half and folding them in half twice and making them fit. And this is exactly what I'm going to do with everything. Just really folding everything as small as I can get it. Three t-shirts. Also should be good. I'm just like really folding them. Kind of curling up. Like kind of um, kind of rolling them. Kind of folding them. So and again just take it. Fold both sleeves in. Um, and then fold it in half. And in half again. And in half again. Or you could roll it up. Rolling it up might be better, but this is going to be a very quick packing job, so I'm not bothering with that. And then all I need are my shoes. Alright, here we go again. And I say to bring extra stuff because um, last time we went somewhere it rained on us, and oh my goodness, I did not have um, an extra pair of clothes. I brought like two pairs of jeans, the jeans that I was wearing, and the jeans that I planned on wearing the next day. And then it rained on us and we got all wet and I had yoga pants for my pajamas. So, there was that. We may do, but I'm like, okay, a little extra is going to be okay this time because you never know what's going to happen when you're on vacation. So, I just like to be extra prepared and um, have things all set up so let me show you the final um finished product and let's take a look here's like the zipper pouch thing i was telling you guys about with all my stuff in and then here's my clothes um so as you can see i kind of rolled everything up and there's still room for my hat and it like the shape form and then all i have to do uh, i probably should have like at least taken the tags off but i figured i'd do that in the hotel room close everything up and zip it up so I'm zipping everything up right now still zips up super easily and I have two pockets so I have room for makeup and um, whatever else I might take thank you guys so much for watching this video I know it's not an exercise video or anything related to that um, I'm going to address that my, my knee um, you can probably see it it is it's feeling quite a bit better, um, but still not completely healed, so I haven't been able to wear pants, which means I haven't been going to the gym. However, I did just find my exercise shorts. It turns out they are in my suitcase, so i um, taking those with me, of course, as well. And the only other thing I really wanted to mention to you guys, I think I talked about, I'm doing the, um, the Cure SMA walk in August. Um, so I'll add my link if any of you would like to donate to that. Um, and then I'm also, they just announced that the conference for Cure SMA next year is going to be at Disney World in Florida. So I'm really hoping if I start planning for it now and start saving now and everything, I'm really hoping that I might actually be able to go. So we'll see about that. I'll keep you all updated. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to share something with you guys. So thank you for watching. Um, hope these tips are useful to you guys, especially um, those of you that have to take like a ton of stuff everywhere. And this was just a super quick um, packing job. If I was going somewhere for like a week, I would probably actually spend a lot more effort on rolling up my clothes and really making everything fit but for two nights that's really all I need so anyway thank you all so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and a happy fourth of July